For the first time today, a Riverview woman describes being held and beaten against her will, taken captive in her own home, allegedly by her husband and his parents. This all happened in front of her infant child. And as our own Amanda Shivari tells us today, she was in court telling her story. The victim was in court today telling the judge she's not only afraid for her life, but for the life of her one-year-old daughter. It happened like from last four years. I never reported it. Silky Gain didn't want to go on camera and show her face, but stood in front of the judge telling him about the terror she endured. Countless beatings, she claims, at the hands of her husband. His parents had been visiting them at their Riverview home for the last month. She claims her in-laws even took part in the abuse, sometimes in front of her one-year-old daughter. He stopped me from calling the police and he grabbed the keys and, and I tried to run out. And his father, he grabbed a knife. He grabbed a knife and they, they, they dragged me. Desperate for help, Silky called her parents in India and they reached out to the sheriff's office. When deputies arrived, they could hear her inside begging for someone to help her and her baby. I'm so scared, you know, I just, you know, I... I, because last night he was telling me that he's going to kill me if I call the police. Deputies were able to get Silky and her daughter to safety. As her husband and in-laws went before the judge Sunday morning, she described repeatedly how her life was threatened. Most recently, yesterday, before help arrived. He told me like it will take 10 minutes for police to come before that he'll kill me, then he'll kill himself. In order to get out of jail, these three will have to come up with hundreds of thousands of dollars. All three of the suspects will now have to surrender their passports. They are ordered to have no contact with the victim. In Tampa, Amanda Shivari, News Channel 8.